Sad day today, guys. We lost our biggest uh, albina paco. Uh, not sure what happened. I will describe it in, in words in the description and in the, in the thread on Monster Fish Keepers. But this thing was uh, about 32 inches long, total length. and about one foot without the fins tall with the fins up was one and a half foot tall yeah you can see how big it is it's probably um, I just pulled it out it's, it's a good 30 pounds it's pretty thick don't buy Paco guys unless you can really house such a magnific magnificent animal I mean this is not a fully grown Paco they grow to about 45-55 pounds and even taller than this this was probably a, a red belly or a hybrid Paco the albino variant some teeth you can see so when you see a little Paco that's like two five ten dollars at a store just be aware that you this is on this this animal was only about uh, five ish five years old this is the one I got myself this is not a rescue. I bought it myself from uh, John Chrysolis in Fort Myers. Freshwater tropicals, if anybody knows them. Yeah, so it, it probably needs... It was okay in this uh, 4500 gallon tank. But it probably would keep growing and it probably needed a bigger tank. Probably at least... Uh, I'd say 10,000 gallons to be safe. So we had seven Paco in there and there's only now six remaining. This is the biggest uh, red belly or hybrid. We have two true black belly Paco in there. That's those guys. And there is one albino left in the back is a rescue thank you by the way this is the true black belly right here this is red belly or hybrid red belly or hybrid and this is a real true black belly Paco The way you can tell them apart is first they have a well-defined black belly as you as you saw and more of an olive olive color um, upper half. They have a little two tentacles on their lower lip and their adipose fin has muscles so they can use the adipose fin to stabilize themselves. Unlike the uh, red belly or the hybrids, their adipose, adipose fin just uh, sort of flaps in the in there with the movement of the fish. It doesn't it doesn't do any it doesn't do any movements of its own. It's just a fleshy kind of a appendage. You see how it just flaps around, doesn't do doesn't do anything. On a true red belly, I'm sorry, on a true black belly Paco, they use it as a as one of the stabilizing fins. See how much bigger it is and more masculine versus that. So that's our Paco story.